The image I chose was this one of the Cuban Missile Crisis Blockade. The image depicts a trio of aircraft carriers that made up a small portion of the blockade. The blockade was deployed in response to Russia's continued development of their missile base in Cuba. President Kennedy was recently and harshly taught that an action was a mistake during the botched Bay of Pigs invasion, where Kennedy sent a small number of troops and canceled the airstrike on Cuba at the last minute. The attack went very poorly, and Kennedy's public image was tarnished. He wanted to avoid a mutually assured destruction scenario at all costs. He had other routes he could have taken instead of the blockade, like a military assault on Cuba or an airstrike on the missiles themselves. Kennedy also could have launched a nuclear missile at Cuba, which would have annihilated the missiles completely. This would have been an, a risky option, as Russia could and probably would have retaliated and launched their own missiles, starting the end of the world scenario that Kennedy wished to avoid. Kennedy weighed his options and chose the blockade, which ended the threat in a relatively nonviolent way. The Cuban Missile Crisis is very possibly the closest time this world has come to ending, at least by the hand of humanity. And that is why I find it interesting. The fate of the entire world was uncertain at that moment of Oct in October of 1962. And for that reason, many popular works of fiction incorporate the Cuban Missile Crisis as a plot point, including X-Men First Class, Er, a short story written by Stephen King, and Call of Duty Black Ops. This video game, the video game series Fallout depicts an alternate timeline where a mutually assured destruction scenario has come to pass, and the superpowers have unleashed their nuclear mites upon each other. This leaves the world in a radiated wasteland with horribly mutated creatures wandering the wreckage of the 1960s, cults worshipping nuclear warheads, and the lucky few unaffected humans who survived the initial blasts and underground vaults. Overall, the Cuban Missile Crisis effectively reset the Cold War, as both superpowers back down on their latest steps forward. I think that Kennedy made the right choice of the blockade, and that is why I chose this image.